Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Our video blog this week, we're at Arts Court for the open house. It's exciting to be back in the building, to feel the vibe, the local artists. Take a look and come and support our local arts. I'm Rachel Weldon, Executive Director of Debaser. Debaser is an pr event producer, music presenter organization that produces this event peak, and that's what's happening here today and tonight. It's a pay what you can all ages event that takes over the entire building with art and music everywhere. And we have artists and vendors out here. We have live music happening on the South Courtyard, and following the COVID-19 pandemic, I think it's important to us to have a platform to support them and, and present their work to, to a community. Hi, I'm Yvonne Coutts, and I'm the Artistic Director of Ottawa Dance Directive. Mon nom c'est Alain Richer, je travaille pour le uh, French Festival d'Ottawa, um, et je suis directeur exécutif. My name is Annette Hegel, I'm the Executive Director of Digital Arts Resource Centre in Ottawa. Mon nom est Jason Saint-Laurent, je suis commissaire à la Galerie SA. Digital Arts Resource Centre is an artist-run centre that supports media artists through access to education, uh, equipment, uh, post-production and production facilities. And what we are launching in 2023 is a two-year full-time uh, media arts program specifically directed at equity-seeking uh, emerging students. Ça, c'est un centre d'artistes qui a été créé il y a presque 50 ans, donc en 1973. Puis euh, avec la réouverture du centre, on a aussi euh, créé ce qu'on appelle le Labo Nordique. Donc tous les artistes qui viennent des régions circumpolaires peuvent venir ici sur les lieux travailler sur des projets d'envergure. Ottawa Dance Directive is a dance company that provides support for creation, performance, presentation, uh, professional development, and outreach to all kinds of areas of the community. It's important to see dance work in an intimate environment and to see it close to the creation phase. And that's what happens at Odd. And you get up close and personal with the artist, so the audience has a totally different kinesthetic response, visceral response, to the artist and to the movement. The Fringe Festival is Ottawa's biggest theatre festival. We're in our 25th year this year, um, so it's, it's kind of a celebration year. We run a 10-day festival with international, national and local artists. Um, it's lottery-based, so they uh, put in sort of their name and we pick out of a hat and those shows get put in the festival regardless of content, we don't curate any of it. Uh, and then we support them throughout the year to build these shows, to market these shows, to get the right audiences to come out and support them. The culture scene in Ottawa is uh, so incredibly vibrant and when you start digging deeper, there are incredible amount of culture uh, workers in the city. Moi, j'aimerais ça que que les artistes de la région commencent à se faire reconnaître au niveau national et international. Donc, nous, on mise vraiment là-dessus. Tu sais, on invite des gens à nos vernissages qui viennent de l'extérieur, des commissaires, des écrivains, tout ça, pour essayer de poser un regard sur la scène artistique d'Ottawa qui est vraiment dynamique. We reverberate way out. We go into rural Ottawa. We uh, engage in the community centers. Uh, we bring culture and art and creativity out there. Il y a vraiment une fin um, pour retourner à, à le théâtre, à, à découvrir, construire, faire de l'art. Et ça, il y a beaucoup de, de nouvelles choses et de nouvelles idées qui se présentent maintenant. Ça commence à prendre un grand essor, puis on dit on veut prendre notre place dans le monde de l'art. And if art and dance and the way we express ourselves can offer a different viewpoint, different way to solve problems, different way to find resolution, then that's ultimately the most vital thing that we can do.